What's going on? You know, I didn't think I'd see blue sky at all today. Not at all. Look at the garbage. Look at the garbage. Huh? I went out on my, uh, in my back porch there. I come to make a pot of coffee. And, you know, I got that glass sunroom in my backyard. Yeah, this is what I saw. I've been in the house all day. I've been playing the guitar all day and, you know, renewing my mind. And, you know, all I got to do is look out my damn back window and see all the garbage going on. Yep. 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 <laughs> you guys hear that plane? Let's see if we can get them landing here. He's coming in hot, man. Coming from over there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at this jag off. Look at how low this jag off is. Look at this jag off. Unbelievable, huh? Four engines on that bad boy, man. Four engines. Like, this is just ridiculous. They're flying over to houses like this, man. This is ridiculous. You know, the police, they don't even want to help. They don't even want to touch us. They're scared for their lives. They're scared for their lives. Oh, you gotta, You could go to the, to the state level EPA first before you go all the way to the top. No. You do it. Tell you what. Tell you what. I told I told the captain, I says, if you can't see this shit, I'm, I'm calling you fucking stupid. And I hope you listen to this. Just to re reiterate. Stupidity, it's really turned me into an old grumpy man. <laughs> you know, who, oh, damn man, I forget the name of your channel. Brother out there in Indiana, that that uh, stuff that you had on posted on your channel with them people saying that it, it's white people's problems. Well, like I said, huh. <laughs> Maybe we should tell them it's white people in the airplane spraying us, and maybe they'll they'll uh, snap out of their stupidity. You know, I talked to these guys here from Africa. My neighbors, they're from uh, Cameroon, Africa. They're from Cameroon, and uh, you know, I was talking to him. I was like, you know, hate hate's taught. We don't come out of the womb hating each other. You know what I mean? That shit was taught. I was taught to hate. I'll tell you that. Huh. All my friends growing up and hearing shit from my parents and shit. You know, if you're if you're in your sixties, you know what I'm talking about. Whether you're black, white, Chinese, purple. Fucking orange, blue, whatever color you are, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and I told him, you know, I could take you to some places around here, around here in this area. The way of living, you you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe the way people live in this country. And know what he told me? He says even in Africa, it's all black. 
all black. And there's different tribes, and they fight each other. They still fight each other. They kill each other. Unreal, isn't it? Unfrickin' real. Unbelievably unreal. All that garbage up there, man. All this garbage. going on how are you guys what's up hey did you ask your teacher about Nikola Tesla yet did you ask your teacher about Nikola Tesla no sorry yeah, there they go there they go now they were fighting coming out of the house Can't you can't you can't wake people up to the technology, man. The, these radio waves cause problems. They really cause problems. You know, I, I heard someone say that uh, they researched the technology, and it. It can mess with the brain, they said, and it's not dangerous. You know, I beg to differ with that one, sir. I, I highly beg to differ. <clears throat> we need to go hit a debate, a debate chamber on that one. And I will do my homework if we go into a chamber. I mean, the guy that we we're trying to follow, he even come out and said it. He knew that this shit was dangerous. And... If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I heard that, uh, who was it, uh, <clears throat> the guy that stole his work, Marconi, and, and sent the first message across the transatlantic. Yeah, can you guys hear this Jagoff? I don't know where he is, but I hear him. I can't believe how close that plane just flew over the, over the head. But Marconi, yeah, Marconi, he had uh, he had to walk around with security because the people over there in the UK, they wanted to kill him. You know, nobody experienced any of these radio waves before, and then when he put it up, people started getting sick. The reason why we don't feel it as much right now, because we were born into it. We come into this, we were conceived with radio waves radiating on our parent, on, on our mothers. And we were born into it, so we don't know what, what it feels like. Until you get a headache and you're irate and you always want to fight someone. Yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the invisible light that you cannot see in here. You know, my dad come downstairs while I was uh, I was watching some ether talk. I caught uh, I was in the middle of uh, never lose truths video today. You know, I love you. I love you. I love you. Never lose truth. Even though we physically never were acquainted, I still love you. It's nice to hear somebody that's like minded. You know what I mean? Because like yesterday at this funeral. You know, I was the outcast there out of everybody. I mean, out of everybody. My own family. You better put a mask on. You better put a mask on. I didn't say nothing. I just went to the widow, and she asked me. It's her day. So I, I respected her wishes. I still didn't put it over my nose. 
Like I couldn't breathe in it. I could not breathe. I stayed outside of the damn funeral home and I didn't put it on until I went in to say prayers. I stood outside in the cold for two hours yesterday. Two hours I just stood outside. Huh. You know, but at least at least some people that I talk to, they are semi awake. They're semi awake and they just don't know what to believe. But anyways, I was listening to one of Carol's videos and uh My dad comes downstairs to to do some laundry. The military's flying over the house right now. Why? The hell is so important? <sighs> but uh, he comes downstairs. He says, "Oh, your buddy was on TV. They're talking about your buddy." Because the Powerball, it's like up to a, ha a half billion dollars or something. I says, oh yeah, who's my buddy? He's like that rich guy. I said, who, Bill Gates? He says, no, the other one. I says, Elon Musk. He says, yeah. I said, okay, what's up? He says, he could give everybody in this country one billion dollars and still be rich as hell. I says, yeah, that doesn't bother you? He don't care. He don't care. He does not care. He says it's my opinion and he has his opinion and you know it's it's so crazy. Like I says you're okay with uh with what the world economic the the what I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe in it. I says, Wow dude, this is this is the serious problem in this country because there's so many people just like him. It's it's a majority it's at least 95% of people, 96% of people in this damn country that think like that. And that's not good. That is not good. Holy smokes, is it not good. <clears throat> I mean, besides all the chaos, man... I just got to trust in the Holy Spirit within the hour. That's all there is to do. That's all there is to do. Can't fight it, guys. I don't care what you think. You, you know what I mean? We can't fight it. These people got so much money. They got, the, they got our own military on their side, for crying out loud. Our own military. That's a problem. Not to mention Elon Musk is partnered with the United States Air Force. So, I mean... There's your bribery right there. There's your bribery right there. If you can't see that, if you can't put that puzzle piece together, you're retarded. <sighs> you know, at least I got some solace last night. You know, last night and early this morning, I was able to vibrate my conscience a little bit. I still can't believe I watched that girl paint for five hours last night. <laughs> I was playing a guitar while she was painting. Unbelievable. Well, I didn't watch the full five hours. I, I, I had to fast forward about an hour because she was taking too damn long. She, she likes to talk to her subscribers and stuff. and She's so meticulous and methodical. Like, like I said in, in my last video, Bob Ross would roll over in his grave if he watched that. It was a nice painting, though. I mean, it was a really nice painting. I give her a lot of credit. I can't do that. I can't do that. For as simple as it was, I still can't do that. I I uh I made a playlist of uh called it Sunrises. Hopefully, she has the uh the wisdom to leave out the chemtrails. But you know what? Maybe she should put them in. Because it's history. It's history. <sighs> I 
if she even looks at it. I left her a couple comments. I think she's Greek. She, she speaks two languages. She's highly intelligent. Highly intelligent. And she knows her place as a woman. That's why I respect her. I, I truly respect her. She drives me nuts. She drives me nuts. There's not too many girls that can do that to me, and I'm going to be honest. My daughter's mother, mother was the only one that was able to drive me nuts like that. She's the only one. What the hell's going on? I want this focus. Here it is. Single engine. And he took off from the military base too. Why is that taking off from the military base? That's not a military plane. That's someone important. I think that's someone important. Because it's usually only the people with money that don't obey the laws. They got money to pay for the tickets, you know what I'm saying? They got money to pay for the tickets. It is 1,721 hours. <clears throat> but yeah, my daughter's mother is the only one that used to drive me nuts like that. Like I could be around, I could be around twenty girls, and I wouldn't feel nothing, because you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. And yeah, that video you made, dude, of uh, dude out there in Indiana of uh, the algorithms that pop up on YouTube with all that sexual content. That's some bullshit, huh? So many double-edged swords out there, man. So many. Sex cells. Sex cells. You know, if I was a woman, I'd probably be doing the same thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> the easy way. The easy highway. Feed them. Let them thirsty boys drink, you know? Yeah, if I could, if I could send that girl like an easel or something, I would because easels are pretty. Painting, painting supplies like canvases and brushes and paints and easels. That shit's expensive. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. My daughter's mother is a painter. She she created some. Whoa, wow, could she paint, man? She could paint. But um. Yeah, I can't even get through to her. Like she's still giving me the silent treatment. Six years. I know where. I know how old my daughter is. I know where she's at. I didn't want to give out, involve that information to somebody that you know. They're building a freaking database on me at the damn police station. For Christ's sakes, it's none of their damn business. None of their damn business. Like, I'm surprised they, they have that information, you know, that where I worked at and stuff. That uh, highly got me upset. And they're probably going to watch this video, too, and I don't care. I really don't care. I just hope some sense sinks in. I really do. I really do. Yeah, I'm going to end this. I just wanted to make a video because I seen the garbage outside and, you know, that that compels me to get up and and speak my mind. Why I don't know. It's probably because I'm sick of being bullied. This is this is considered bullying what these people are doing to us. Yeah, everybody have a good Friday night. If you go out drinking and stuff, be careful. I can't remember the last time I drank alcohol was at Thanksgiving. I had a glass of wine. 
I'm I, I'm really proud of myself. I'll tell you that because I I was uh I was a consumer of uh getting fucked up. I'll tell you that. I like killing the pain after work, man. Like you know, you go work for eight, ten hours, twelve hours a day, and you know you go drown yourself in alcohol and weed and cocaine and you know and. And the opiates started coming around. <laughs> How does the shit get in the country? That's the question. How's it getting here? If I'm not mistaken, the CIA was busted for bringing cocaine into the country and then selling it and then arresting everyone for buying it on the street. What a freaking Ponzi scheme that was, huh? <laughs> oh, man. And then the rapper stole, what's his name's name, Highway, Freeway Rick Ross? Yeah, a correctional officer, the boot. A fucking square that just knows how to talk shit. He never lived a life. and He wants to call himself Rick Ross. I hope he, I, I think he tried suing him over that shit. I hope he won that case. I really do. I really do. All right, I'm going to end this. I love everyone. Have a good evening. I'm going to go watch some more YouTube and maybe string my guitar up with the electric strings. I think I might play the acoustic strings for a couple more days just to build up strength in my fingers because they really, they're really heavy gauge and, you know, it, it hurts to play. It hurts to play. It builds a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle. I've been watching this one dude, I think his name's Luca or something, and he plays like two guitars at one time, man, this dude's phenomenal. The only thing I dislike about him, he just keeps covering people's music and he doesn't create his own. Like, he does a good job because he plays it in different octaves and tones and stuff, but, you know, that's, he's just memorizing other people's stuff instead of creating his own. I like watching people create things on their own. That's the that's a gift from from the divine being that we all need to start utilizing instead of copying other people. But opinions are like assholes, everybody got one, you know. May everyone be safe. I love everyone. I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.